Chinese officials are telling telecom carriers to phase out foreign chips. That's according to reporting from the Wall Street Journal. Sending American chip giants off of that news, Intel and AMD stocks were tumbling. Joining us to break down China's U.S. tech crackdown, Yahoo Finance reporter Akiko Fujita is here. Akiko. Yeah, Maddie, this is the second blow in just weeks for AMD and Intel. Remember, it was just last month that Chinese officials essentially directed uh, government agencies to start phasing out PCs that use AMD and Intel chips. This morning, we're learning that China is reportedly extending that ban to telecom systems. As you noted, the Wall Street Journal reporting officials directed the country's biggest telecom carriers to phase out foreign processors in their systems by 2027. We have seen shares of Intel and AMD sliding on the back end of that, largely because those two companies have provided the bulk of those processors used in networking equipment for years, not just in the world's second largest economy, but the world. And also, China remains a big market for these Chinese makers, uh, for these chip makers for Intel. It's 27% of revenue for AMD. It's the third largest market with 15% of the revenue. Now, China has been investing billions of dollars to boost domestic chip making production as it looks to reduce reliance on foreign semiconductors. And this 2027 deadline that's cited in the Wall Street Journal would seem to suggest that China believes that it can achieve a certain level of independence, at least in these core processors, within three years. And that would suggest a rapid ramp up in production within the country. Now, all of this, of course, stems from chip related export restrictions the U.S. placed on China in the name of national security. And you could argue that in many ways, China is now using the same playbook against U.S. chip makers. If you'll recall back in 2019, the U.S. essentially restricted all but restricted equipment and tech technology to Huawei, which was one of the world's largest telecom equipment making companies. And then three years later, the U.S. Commerce Department uh, imposed some of the strictest expert controls in place, all but banning critical technologies as well as chip making equipment to Chinese chip makers. Since then, we have seen local and central governments throw subsidies at these Chinese ship makers to really ramp up their development there. And um, Maddie, in many ways, we've been watching Huawei as kind of a barometer to get a better sense of where China is in the chip making process. How advanced is their technology? We got some news on that note overnight when uh, they essentially t teased an upcoming launch of its high end P series. The Mate series that was launched last year raised a lot of eyebrows because According to USIs, the chips involved or integrated into that device was a lot more advanced than expected. So there's going to be a lot of attention on this upcoming phone as well, all in the grand scheme of things as the U.S. watches very closely to see where China is in their chip making ability. As China says, look, if you want to do that to us, we will retaliate and try to limit U.S. chips as well. Mm, really helpful reporting as always, Akiko. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.